today jainism is a very important religion right but do we know who started it well let's find out long time ago a boy was born his name was vardhamana and he was born in 599 bc he was a kshatriya prince of the lichavis which was a group that was there there was a part of the vajji sangha in the kingdom of nata in kundagrama which is today this place is known as baishali well later on he started meditating at the age of 30 under a ashoka tree right and after 12 years of constant meditating he achieved kaivalya or enlightenment so he was born at a royal house but at the age of 30 he left his palace and he decided that he wanted to become an ascetic or a monk right he had given up everything his house his family and even his clothes and this is lord mahavira as we know today he was the founder of the religion called jainism overall there are 24 tirthankaras or prophets in this religion the first one was rishabhanatha and the last and final prophet for jainism was mahavira so who exactly is this tirthankara so basically these tirthankaras are responsible for the spread of their religion it teaches people the rules and regulations of jainism and there are total of 24 tirthankaras in jainism now one of the main teaching or the core concept of jainism is ahimsa or non violence this is the most important teaching that is there in jainism and mahavira was in fact the first one to explain the idea of non violence and therefore he is also known as the prince of peace because it is said that he never hurt a single soul even the father of our nation mahatma gandhi was greatly inspired by this concept of non violence other than that his followers the jainas led simple lives and begged for food so they had given up everything right so they even had to beg for food and other than that they were expected to be honest practice celibacy which means they had to be single and not get married and to not steal so they had to lead a very honest and a righteous life finally the men had to give up everything including their clothes but if you take a look at this picture here you can see that these people are wearing clothes because later on there was a split in jainism and one sect could wear clothes these people were the shwatambaras and they had a much more flexible lifestyle so they were allowed to wear clothes they you can even see in the picture how they are wearing masks so why are they wearing masks well this is because of the concept of non violence or ahimsa so that you do not inhale any small insect and kill it therefore these masks are worn by jain people so when while mahavira was preaching do we know which language he used well during that point of time what was happening is that the upper caste people the brahmins and the kshatriyas they were speaking in another language this was sanskrit and this was also the language of the vedas whereas the common people were talking in prakrit or pali so what do you think mahavira did then well mahavira he preached in prakrit because he wanted jainism to spread to more and more people and for that he understood that he had to preach in the common language for example if you go to a village and you have to buy something from a shopkeeper now if you talk in english and the shopkeeper does not understand english then he will not be able to understand what you are trying to tell him right however if you try the common tongue or the common language if, and if you talk to him in hindi then he might be able to understand you right so this is why common language was so important because otherwise there would be a barrier problem sorry otherwise there would be a language barrier which would pose as a problem so that is why mahavira taught in prakrit now the teachings of mahavira and his followers were transmitted orally for several centuries so nothing was written down and when years later when they were finally written down well one of such forms is presently available in vallabhi in gujarat now 
as we already know that mahavira is the last and the 24th tirthankara so why do we call him the founder of jainism why not rishabhnatha this is because mahavira was responsible for shaping jainism into what it is today he gave it new rules and that is why he is known as the founder of jainism you see all the teachings of the tirthankaras they were compiled as scriptures which were called as agamas and all of these tirthankaras in their own respective times taught the same thing and so did mahavira he just included newer rules and that is why he is known as the founder of the religion so we all know that mahavira preached in different places take a look at this map here here you can see where exactly he preached at these places have been marked in blue so he taught in magadha in bihar videha in nepal and kosala in uttar pradesh so these are the places that mahavira preached in himself other than that in rajasthan gujarat odisha and south india monasteries jain monasteries were built so that also led to the spread of this religion right so jainism was supported mainly by traders it was not supported by farmers why was it so because farmers had to kill insects to protect their crops and so because they had to kill they were breaking the most important rule of jainism so they were not supported by farmers instead they were supported by traders now an important question arises which is why was the term jina used for mahavira so mahavira had conquered his inner self and was free from the cycle of rebirths how had he conquered his inner self that he had achieved nirvana after 12 years of constant meditating right so he had conquered his inner self and jina well it means someone who conquers so mahavira was a jina right so his followers well they started calling themselves jainas and therefore mahavira is responsible for founding jainism and more than 7 million people follow jainism all across the world take a look at this picture here this is the water temple of pavapuri bihar so why is this place important this place was built by king nandivardhan who was mahavira's elder brother this place is important because mahavira gained moksha here in 527 bce and he was cremated here inside the temple you can even find lord mahavira's foot impression which is present inside this temple and this temple was built within a pond and in this pond there are also several red lotuses so this is a very important pilgrimage site for jain people and it is visited by many people all throughout the year so now we know that jainism was founded by mahavira more than 2500 years ago and his doctrines and his teachings inspired millions of people all across the world don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free on deltastep.com or download the delta step app and get easy access to more than 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubts resolved instantly learn via games and get a chance to win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it's rewarding too so register for free now